It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And we'll be watching the Patriots' veteran wide receiver. And with him, any catch could be a big one. He's the NFL leader in touchdown receptions. It's the... The Pats offense in the midst of a perfect season. They get their first possession here. Now Jones completes to Taylor on the slam. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Now you figure that he'll probably be a big factor in this one as well. No question about it, partner. We just saw right there they want to get him the ball in space and see what he can do after the catch. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Got a man complete. It's Taylor. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. First and goal. A chance to convert that early turnover into points. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Patriots take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And the QB rating right now sky high. Four for four on that opening drive. And it ends with... So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And listen, these Thursday night games, they're tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 hours later. Hey, it's game day again. But I have to think a Thursday night game in September much more preferable than a Thursday nighter in December, no? Well, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. How about the mind? You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turnaround. Now, the flip side is... If you take care of business, win that Thursday nighter, you go into a mini open week. Gives you a few extra days to heal up the body and the mind before you play your next game. Throwing Jones over the middle. That's caught by Taylor. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Well, CD, you know, this offense at 11-0 now on the year. A few weeks ago, I remember asking you what kind of percentage chance that you thought they had at staying unbeaten the entire season. I think you said 25%. I'd imagine that number probably grown since then. I would agree with you, and I'm going to actually bump it up to closer to 50%, only because they saw some tough games to come. And keeping that focus throughout the entire season, that's been a really difficult thing to pull off. But so far, they've done it, and they've done it well. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Parker. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Back to throw again. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Patriots lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Well, Charles, he's still a young single caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if... Offense set to go. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one. But now playing here on Thursday night, do you think that this helps or hurts their momentum? Well, ordinarily, I'd say it hurts the momentum because now you get that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well 
and let the opponent deal with that. Meanwhile, Jones throw there taken in by Smith. Finding room at midfield. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Meanwhile, Jones throw caught here by Taylor. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Seven catches for him now in this last one, the first down. They'll look to throw again. Touchdown! From six yards away. And the Patriots go up by two touchdowns. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's... And now out come the Patriots. On first and ten, Jones. He finds Taylor, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause, to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Looking to throw. Jones. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Throwing again. Jones. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 36. Got the connection here to Bourne. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Again, he'll drop to throw. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. A bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. Now Jones. Throwing on first down. Complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 16 yards. A little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. 
A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots continue to pull away here in this first half. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. Jones on first down to the sideline and wow what a catch there he doesn't get a lot but he was able to get the feet down complete here's second and seven now from the 28 now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw right back to Henry and Henry's got it again finding room at midfield he's at the 30 10 and all the way in touchdown New England, Hunter Henry on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Patriots would extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Jones. They'll find Tanner, that's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Good work after the catch, gonna net him 23 and a first. Looking to throw, Jones. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Back to throw, Jones. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> and that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown from four yards out. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they've built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they... New England trying to get a place on offense. Jones now on first and 10. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards from all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Looking to throw. Jones over the middle complete. It's Parker. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. Back to throw, Jones. And they're gonna get this up to midfield. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And they're gonna get this down to about the 37. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones gets through, and now an opening. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 36 yards on the play. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the Patriots coming out now. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Back to throw. Jones. Touchdown, Patriots. From four yards out. And the Patriots get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Now Jones throwing on first down. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Looking to throw. Jones. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. To throw again on second down. Jones and caught by Henry. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Now Jones complete to Taylor on the slant. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, this one probably not the close game you would expect or hope to see in prime time, CD. But, of course, that wasn't their intent in preparing for this one. They said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And, my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of a national audience. Yeah, they thought it. And it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this group before, you certainly are. Touchdown! Devontae Parker. His 19th touchdown now of the season. And the Pats add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. 
Well, obviously, Charles, no more points were needed, but some teams just can't resist the urge to keep adding on, and they did just that here in the fourth quarter. And we've certainly been on the call to see many teams do exactly that over the years. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Jones throwing to start the drive. They find some open field here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Jones now on first down. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. And he's going to get this down near the 25. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 14. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely... And he lost the football. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. Touchdown, Patriots! Devontae Parker with his second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots are going to be moving on to 12-0 as they extend their lead further. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else, here's... New England's offense set to go. That one looks like he'll throw here. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Throwing Jones. He'll find his man. That's Taylor again. Four yards the pickup, first down. Looking to throw Jones. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. I'd like to be those defensive coaches, though. That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for the Pats, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they fall to 6-6 six and six now on the campaign. And they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets.